But I could keep going on. But this is not why I'm trying to get a hold of you. I'm trying to get a hold of you because Father Lord God is trying to get a hold of you. Um, he's been calling everyone. Um, but we're too busy uh, not noticing his call. You know, we're distracted with material things and financial stress and everything. Um, trying to handle everything on our own, which we are grown to do. Um, but Father Lord God is trying to call you to help you to let let it go you know so he could step in pretty much you know that we've been so focused on our financial problems and in the world that that even though we try to seek the lord through church we're not fully seeking the lord you know um but god confirmed that because of jesus christ we all could go god in our own time when we need him you know so you know, go to your private room, go anywhere, nature, anywhere you want to go, just you and God, you know, start talking to God, start praying to God, and, um, and <laughs> believe it or not, he will answer, uh, but he, uh, got a hold of me today, um, because recently I've been seeing a lot of, uh, number 17, and then he put me down to John 17, you know, and it's pretty much just related to the spiritual awakening of of what's going on all around the world um, it's a spiritual awakening of, um, in people people who, who haven't even known Christ as well you know because they had done good their entire life and they woke up a long time ago but they just didn't understand and they didn't know where to go and I was one of them you know I was like I don't know I'm crazy I'm seeing things I don't understand but then it turns out that everyone's waking up you know and the Lord is the one waking us up you know and then and then he sends me to kind of like help them understand why you've been waking and but he also is helping me wake people up where he's pretty much saying pray to god pray to jesus christ you know for anything that way he, you can connect with him and once you start doing that every day of prayer you welcome him into your life because of a free will our free will keeps god away you know but when we welcome him step in he shows himself more and more and more and more and more. And he makes sure you learn many things, you know. And I kill you not, man. I've been reading the Bible through the Spirit. And I, when I come, a, come across things, I'm like, wow, you know. And, and, then I, and, then, and then I try to talk to people about it. It's like, that's, that's not what I see, you know. It's like, but this is what I'm seeing in the Bible, you know. It's like, I don't understand what's going on here. And then I try to relate to it, you know. And... And there's a lot of things, a lot of secrecy in the Bible that I'm like, wow, does anyone know about this? You know, and but you have to read the Bible, man. Really, really. You can't have no one tell you about the Bible, tell you anything because they could deceive you. You don't know if they're telling you the truth. You know, you have to read it for yourself. And there are so limited in churches out there that would be right on, on, on the path of the Lord. You know, a lot of people I come across, they go to church and it's like, I, I can't, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. This my church is telling me to give me all, give them all that money, and they have big house and big cars and they're spending and everything. And it's, it's like, what's, I'm going broke, you know, and, and and that's what's going on, man. We don't know who's who's doing right by the Lord because we keep seeking the people when we should be seeking the Lord. We should be seeking God, you know. He the one tells you where to go, and I kid you not, man. I kid you not. He'll tell you where to go, where to sit, who to talk to, everything. And that's because you're listening, man. Listening in your heart and your spirit. You know, you it's that one thing. It's like, oh, what was that weird thing that just happened? You know, and, 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 and it's like, okay, that was weird. And then and you keep going, and you don't think anything. And then something else happened weird. Like, what was that? Well, that's pretty much God happening, right? And then, and then one of the things you'd be like, oh, that was a coincidence. Like, there ain't no such thing as a coincidence with God. You know, that's God's grace, you know? So you got to get that right. Well, the problem is, it's, it's not entirely our fault, you know. From the time we're born, we're grown this way. We we grown to put boundaries, boundaries in our mind, so we could keep be kept from the Lord, keep knowing from the Lord. We worship money, and I and, and when I read that part, worship money, like I was like, what are you talking about? And then and, and he like, look, I'm like, oh my goodness, I have been worshiping money, and you know, think about it, man, you. Constantly, every day in your mind, 
you were thinking about money, money, money. Oh, we don't have enough. Oh, I need this. Oh, I can't do this because I don't have enough this. Oh, this. I, you know, it's just like, there's all BS. It's a trap. It's a trap to keep you away from the Lord. You know, but the Lord said, let that, let that shit go. Let it go. And excuse my language. I, you know, I have bad language sometimes. I try, try to fix that. But, you know, and, and, and he had to let go. Seriously. God is saying, I'm showing you the way. Yeah, I know you got to take care of that. But don't focus on that, you know, focus over here, you know, on your on your life, on your wife, on your kids, on your friends. Focus on the people. That's that's what's more important. And it's like, wow, very true, you know. And I tell you not, I kill you not, man. God tests me many times and I failed him. I failed him. But he put me to the test over and over and over and over until I got it right. You know, that is about it's about the people, you know, be one with the people and, and, and love your, your friends, your families, your neighbors, your enemies, you know, don't fight evil with evil, you know, it's that, it's that thing, you know, it's just like, be the, be above it, you know, it's like, but that's how we, that's how we used to, you know, fight evil with evil and, and hate and jealous and this and this and that, you know, we're grown that way, you know, but the Lord is saying, you know, have to, you have to break that, you have to break that wall. You know, you have to let all that go. Fear, worries, doubt, disbelief, all that stuff is us limiting ourselves. Our humanity is limited because of the way we're grown. You know, and then you have people like me seeking the truth, seeking what's the point, you know, seeking for answers. And I'm looking everywhere, everywhere. And I didn't know why, you know, it's just... It's just something wasn't right, man. It's just a system was just totally corrupt. And it, it makes no point of being in this world, living in this world, to live in fear and, and worries and and just slaving to money. It just like it's well, why am I here? You know? And, and it's part of the awakening, you know. When you I think that's why the Lord, my father Lord God, he's just like, okay, he's ready. He, he sees he sees something's not right. Let's let's go let's go wake him up some more. Let go let's go wake him up some more. And sure enough, man, he he came, and I run away like what's going on? You know, he wake me up. But but I'm telling you, it is legit, and it is real. Father, Lord God is real. Jesus Christ is legit. The Holy Spirit is legit. And I have many testimonies, and I have many experiences that I have gone through, and I'm still learning. And, and I'm holding the holding the hands of the Lord as I go because he is my teacher Jesus Christ is my teacher not not this person not this person because you know why because I could easily be deceived easily you know I always pray Lord God guide me make sure I don't be deceived misled all that stuff I want to do right by him by God you know Make sure I'm talking to the right people. And you know what? The Lord said, you know what? I'm sending you to the worst of people, you know, because they need you. And I'm like, huh? You know, it's just like, yeah. He's like, And then you go to, you know, Matthew and he's like, Jesus Christ said, I'm here for the sinners because they're sick. Every one of them. I'm not here for the righteous. And I'm like, whoa, you know, and it's like very true. And I kid you not, man, the people are, who are worst of sinners, man, I talk to and and sure enough, I get them a little of love, change your heart. Change your heart, man. A little bit of, of, of love, change a heart. I kid you not, man. Stop, stop dis distancing yourself. Stop dividing yourself. Stop grouping people. We are the light. Try not to divide us, man. God is trying to unite us. You know, love one another. That's yourself. And that is the truth. We can't grow if we can't do that. Because heaven, everyone wants to go to heaven. But guess what? Heaven is about love. Brothers and sisters, many colors. Many colors. And then Jesus Christ say heaven on earth. He wants heaven on earth. That's why he came. Show us the way, living spirit, the teacher, the truth, and the way to new life. And I promise you, man, I'm not, I'm not kidding, man. This is legit stuff. And if you find yourself troubled, the person that you should seek is Jesus Christ. And guess what? Jesus Christ is telling you he loves you. And guess what? Jesus Christ is the person 
like myself because God created all of us to be the image of Jesus Christ. And if we ain't doing our work, if we ain't doing our part, we see it. And if we ain't doing our part, guess what? His light, his light is, not, is not spreading. You know what? You had to get off your butt and do the work. You had to love your neighbors. You had to love your friends. You had to love your enemies. And if they do wrong, they do wrong you, man, just, just let it go and, and pray for them. And one day, the Lord is going to say, hey, you wrong Carlito. You wrong Carlito. And ain't that person going to come and ask you forgiveness. You know what? Believe it. Believe it. And then you got this whole politician. This whole mess. I stay away from the mess. And you know what? In fact, I stood away from so long that I, never, I, I haven't voted for a long time. And then Jesus Christ answers and he comes to me. No, Carlito, you know what? You had to get your butt over there and do the work. You had to vote. You know? And it's like, well, who do I vote? And it's like, I'll tell you who to vote. And, and that's sure enough, you know. And, and and the thing is, I can't tell you who to vote. No, man. Because I'm no different than any one of you. You had to seek the Lord to guide you, to lead you to the one person who he sees and foresees that plays his, his role of the future. You know, only the Lord knows. A thousand years for the Lord is one day of human life. Isn't that something? Well, I don't know what else to say, but the Lord, the true message is John 17. It's very important to him right now because there's an awakening happening and everyone is confused and lost, and but others are connecting with each other through love because Christ in them. And they don't even know it. They don't even know it. But they, you know what? They're in that path. They're in that path. You know? And, and those are the people Jesus Christ is coming to wake up. This is, this is one part. He's going to come. And there's going to be two people. And he's going to wake that one person up. Come. That one. Come. Come. That's what's happening right now. But the Lord is not limiting us. He's saying, let everyone know that I'm here to pray to me. Not me, but Jesus Christ, obviously. Through Jesus Christ, you can pray for anything. That's why I always say, Matthew 7, 7. Read it. Take it down. Swallow it. Let it sit on your heart. Can you not, man? It, it, it happens. It happens. And, and, and try to, like, talk to God. You know, like, don't, don't just, like, pray. Like, really pray, like, from the heart, man. Don't just speak talk to the air you have to speak in the spirit from the heart you know because the lord sees everything based on your heart based on the heart you know it doesn't matter what you do on the outside in front of everyone like what you do for work and everything that's not important it's how you are with other people it's how you are with your brothers and sister that's what god's looking at that's what really god's looking at i'm telling you better change those ways and seek the lord Jesus Christ, your teacher, is waiting. And he's going to teach you and let him guide you. He's going to hold your hands. He's going to spoon feed you. And you're going to fail him like I did. But he's gonna not going to give up on you. He's not going to turn it back on you. He's going to be on you. Try it again. Try it again. Try it again. Okay, you're done with that. Let's go to the next lesson. That's how God is. I kid you not. Seek the Lord. I love you, people. I love you, brothers and sisters. I'm not crazy. And I have a lot of evidence I'm not crazy. <laughs> um, seriously, man. It's every day. Pray and repent. Repent. Repent, 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 repent. God, Jesus Christ gave his life for us. And all we have to do is go to him and repent. And start talking. Made it easy. Alright, love you, brothers and sisters. And God is in you and be with you and become one with the Spirit. And one with all. Amen.